How is everyone doing today? Dustin here with another tattoo product video. Today's products we are going to be talking about is two different brands of needle cartridges. One is more known than the other. And one of the two brands I will be reviewing today is White Rose Needle Cartridges, which I picked up at the Milwaukee Villain Arts Convention. And the other one, which is the brand that a lot of you tattooers know about, Peak. Now, I've reviewed Peak before. I've reviewed their quartz uh, needle cartridges. That's what I faithfully use. Now, they have since just released a new needle cartridge model. And that's what I'll be reviewing today. But first up, we were gonna do the white rose. So, the white rose needle cartridges. Now, I was in a position at the Milwaukee convention where I had a tattoo coming up and me being a neo-traditional guy, I, wanting, I was wanting a needle cartridge I didn't have in my arsenal at the moment for some fatter, bolder lines. So I ran over to, I believe it was a nuclear tattoo supply booth and they had this brand and they kind of, it kind of appealed to me that and I'll, I'll keep it 100% because that's what we do on this channel. No bashing, no name calling or anything, but I was kind of hesitant about this brand. The only reason I picked them up and gave them a try is because this was the only brand needle cartridge that they had with 14 liners. And that was the size I was wanting. So, with that being said, let's get on with it. Now, as you can see, they're like a clear blue, tealish type of cartridge. Now, they do have a membrane in them. So, all you guys using cartridge machines that are solely about having a membrane only instead of the O-ring uh, tension crap, which, yeah, I'm sorry, I call that crap, because how are you gonna stop liquid from getting in your machine, cross-contaminating everything, right? So, made sure this had a membrane, because I'm a membrane stickler, I guess, or whatever, whatever you wanna call me, but. Uh, now with these, I, I really enjoyed using them. Now, we can all say, this brand's better, this brand's better. Really, all needles are the same unless you got some janky crackhead making needles out of his basement. That's a different story, though. That's for a different video. But these, they were great. Now, like, I, the one thing I did like about these is when I popped it in my machine, you know, like, how, like, certain cartridges, like, all you guys, all the cartridge machine users might know what I'm talking about is when, let's say you're using one brand, like, here, let me get a few of them out to show you. Let's say I'm gonna use a P Quartz. Now, when you pop it in, you might notice the vibration level in your machine and the hum sound. It might be more, it might be less, and all of a sudden you go to click out to a different cartridge, like this one. And you notice, hey, my machine feels like it's running a little bit smoother. And the hum is, dialed down a little bit, a little bit quieter. Yeah, I, I've noticed that. I mean, I'm a guitar player and it's like the same concept with like strings and different thickness of the picks. Now, you guys probably not all be guitar players like me, but guitar players know what I'm talking about. Now, with that being said, like I can honestly say when I snap this one into my machine, it was, had way less vibration than most 14 liners I've used. Now, my traditional brand, I would, I probably would have picked up if they would have had them in stock at that booth that day, is the Peak Quartz. This, these are my go-to. So, I, if these would have been there, I would have nabbed them up and not known about this. So, this was kind of like one of them little gem finds, like, I was, I was happy to find them. Now, 
I will say punches in bold, solid, fat lines, really nice, really fast. Um, I, I really, it holds the, the little reservoir the tip. It holds ink pretty well. Now with it being a 14 liner, yeah, you got to dip more than you would your seven liners, of course. But still, this one, I felt like I didn't have to dip as much, which was kind of great. Like, kind of saved a little bit of time as well on the tattoo. I'm sure my client was happy about that part. But yeah, like I couldn't find a flaw. I even put took one out, pushed the plunger, looked in, under a magnifying glass. Needle tips look beautiful and spot on. And I believe these are uh, just polished, they're not textured. So this brand would be called White Rose uh, Needles or White Rose Needle Cartridges or White Rose Cartridges. Look them up on Nuclear Tattoo Supply. I'm sure you'll find them. Okay, now I saved my favorite for last. Now I'm not paid by peak to give my opinions to you guys. So a little disclaimer, like, so this, my opinion on this video is all mine. Like this is not coached at all. So, um, the new Peak Triton cartridges. Now, there's a new feature with these. Now, like, uh, I don't really want to rip one out, but let me find, here we go. Then might, you guys might be able to see it in here or no. I'm trying to get one that's like frontal view. Hold on. Sorry. That's what happens when Dusty does videos. We're unprepared. But anyways, I'll explain it. Okay, this one might work. Okay, with the Triton needles, yes, as you see, they have a different color. Now, this is their fourth model cartridge that Peak has put out. They put out the Quartz, the Blood, the Cirrus, and the Triton. And I'm, correct me if I'm wrong, I think they might be coming up with a permanent makeup line unless the Cirrus is it. Or they might have five needle cartridges, models. I'm not sure. Like, should have did some research before it, but I just know I pay attention to the ones I like because why pay attention to stuff I'm not going to use. So, with that being said, let me explain the... I've only used these twice and I can say my god now I only got them in nine curved mag form and the needle tips are um, from what I understand textured and polished now I did some black and gray pieces with these and my god remember what I was talking about when you pop a cartridge in a different cartridge how smooth how much smoother or rougher your machine can run depending on quality of cartridge or the insides of the cartridge this thing is probably the smoothest cartridge I've ever put into my Valhalla machine and um, man like the the vibration on this was almost non-existent like and again I do use these cartridges in conjunction with a access Valhalla pen machine. That's the only machine I use. So, um, now with these, let me see if I can, now you see that little red ball right there? Right above my finger. Now, that's their new stabilizing mechanism for this model. And you can, when you see it running, it's, it must be like a rubber, or some sort of stretchy material because when you see it run, you can see it flatten out as it's going. Like, and I really feel like that's, it keeps your needle in place the way any artist would want. Like, especially when you're a picky artist like me. 
Like, I know, like, I don't do all the most, like, in-depth, like, portraits or anything like that. I'm a neo guy. Bold outlines, solid color, shading. Ah. So, from a technical aspect, like, as for a portrait guy, I can't really speak for these, for you people, but I can honestly say these might help you. Like, if you're having needle cartridge problems with them being stable and running smooth, this is your go-to right here. Try them out. Um, I can't say anything about the liners so far, which I will be trying and probably making another video soon. Um, but with the rubber ball, like, that thing just, it quieted down my machine. It was like, if, you, if there's anyone on here that plays guitar, like putting a, a string dampener over top your strings to mute all the noise, the background noise you don't want. That's kind of what this red ball does in a way. It's almost the same concept in a w weird way. But I know I want to try every, like, et I'm, I'm normally faithful on what needles I choose. <laughs> now, that's Sam. I'm not alive, but. Just record uh, him for later, being uh, nosy. But um, back to what I was saying, I forgot what I was saying. Talking about <laughs> tips. Huh? Talking about the tips. Oh, but when I eventually, like, normally I'm weird about my needle sizes. Like, I there's certain needle sizes I skip, uh, certain mag sizes I skip. Like, for instance, I'll give you guys my rundown. I use a three-liner, seven-liner, 14-liner, sometimes an 11, and sometimes a nine, but mainly three sevens and 14s. And... My mags normally is a nine curve mag, 13 curve mag, and a 21 curve mag. Round shaders, five round shader, and nine round shader. Those are my go-to sizes. So, yeah, pretty neo setup, I would say. But I will try all these models, the Triton model, and all them sizes. I, as soon as I'm able to, I'm investing into it. Right now, mm, saving up for a new ink set so i got enough needles to last me so that ain't a big worry at the moment but i can promise you guys i will be reviewing the round shaders the liners and the bigger mags with these ones but i can tell you these nine curve mags are super super duper solid man like i i'll be honest i i don't know if i'm gonna go back to getting the quartz nine mags I, I i'm not saying there's anything bad with them i loved them but with the smoothness that my machine ran when this cartridge in it it spoiled me if that tells you how big of a difference it is now the way the needle tips worked in the skin this is the fun part now this i know some of y'all might be different some of y'all might not even know what i'm talking about but I know, like, with me, I feel like I notice differences in needles. Like, let's say I'm using one different brand, nine curve mag, and I'm doing some black and gray shading. Well, I feel like it's a little rougher of a punch, and maybe you gotta, might gotta work it, work that shade out a little, just with a little bit more effort, you know? These things, it was like I was painting them on the skin. I was just, went, 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 done. Like, holy shit. And, it was just the smoothness of it. The smoothness was just gravy, man. Like, I know I got some weird terms, but you guys will get used to that in the long run. But, man, I can't say how impressed I was with these Triton cartridges. Now, um, my only downfall on these is the quantity they send you in just one box. Now, with Peak Quartz, they send you 20 in a box. With these, they send you 10 in a box. I didn't know that. I kind of, when I opened up the package, I was happy I seen the box, like, yay! And then I seen 10 count, I was like, damn. <laughs> So, uh, I believe I paid like 16, somewhere between 16, 18 American dollars for one of these, plus shipping, you know. And 
but I tell you what, I'm impressed with them. I'll be getting more of these in the near future. But other than that, really nice. But we're also gonna do a little bonus here, bonus brand review, just because my homie, I feel like I need to plug my homie's brands in, man. So we are going to. Okay, now I've been working with a brand or working and using their products like none other, man. Like ever since I came across them and discovered them at the Cleveland Villain Art Show earlier this year, back in July, I believe, or I think it might've been June, but either way, it was Cleveland. So um, I, I this guy walked in our booth why during our first day like we weren't even doing our first tattoos yet and he was from an he was an owner of a brand called canna inked like canna like as in cannabis and inked inked well what this brand is is it's a glide like you tattooers know what a glide is um but it's cbd infused like heavily cbd infused and like, for instance, like, let me show you one of their jars. Probably coming up backwards on 1,000 milligrams of CBD. And here's what it looks like. That's their, that's called the Canaglide. And they also got another form of it. It's like a petroleum jelly. It's called Canna Jelly or, ta or Tattoo Jelly, my bad. And this also has a thousand milligrams of CBD. And that's what that looks like. Now you guys don't got smell vision. So I will say my booth, since I op cracked these two open, smells delightful. It smells of like, you know, when you go to the dollar store and they got them little dollar bags of candies and they got the vanilla coconut macaroon, like little soft cookie things, I don't know. I don't know how to describe them, but some of y'all know what I'm talking about. That's what this stuff smells like. It smells like vanilla coconut in it. Oh, I love the smell of it. Um, as far as the ingredients, uh, I'll read the ingredients off on both jars. Uh, the tattoo jelly has white petroleum jelly, full spectrum CBD hemp oil, CBD crude oil, lanolin, Mineral oil, beeswax, cocoa butter, coconut oil, jojoba oil, I think that's how you pronounce it, panthenol, glycerin, and Japanese honeysuckle extract. Probably where a lot of that smell comes from. Well, and coconut oil. Coconut oil is pretty strong, potent smelling stuff. So, And with the Canaglide, this has white petroleum jelly, full spectrum CBD hemp oil, avocado oil, beeswax, cocoa butter, coconut oil, jojoba oil, and Japanese honeysuckle. So this one's got a few more added ingredients, which is the jelly has the added ingredients. And this one has less. Now, um, I've been using the glide quite a bit, but recently I have started using the jelly. Now. Here's the version I've been using. Now this one's a little bit more like on the liquidy side, not so much like that where you could, and nothing falls out. This is a little, a little bit thinner. So it works just as great. Now I can't wait to try the thicker one because yeah, it does help from the ink spray out and so you can see where your crispy lines are going and everything. The one thing I can say about this stuff is, man, when you're tattooing and you're faithfully doing what you're supposed to do, like, and that's run a few lines or whatever, rub a little bit more on the skin, this stuff will combat redness, swelling, and pain on the fly. Especially when you use it in conjunction with like, a uh, topical spray. Now, I'll show you guys what topical spray I use. Plug another brand in. Why not? 
Like we're all about plugging in brands on this channel, you know, like no hate against other brands unless you're some cheap China made shit. Like I, I will not review that stuff. Like anything bought off eBay or Amazon, it's a no go here. We only buying from legit suppliers here. So let's keep that in mind guys. So anytime you guys want to see a product recommended on this channel, please comment below like and tell me what brands and i'll research it uh, all i can say is if you got one of you guys comment something and i research it and it shows up that i gotta wait for it to be shipped from overseas in china no the only brands i'm going to be doing reviews or trying products from that come from overseas is germany which i think europe they got some good tattoo suppliers out there to, as well. So let's plug in this other brand. This is Holy Water by St. Mark. You guys might be familiar with the name St. Mark. They are, St. Mark is a former contestant on the show Ink Master. He's been on it several times. Now he's, he worked closely with my boss, um, Mike Hill and uh, I want to say it. my my boss is Pro Team or sponsored by them. Uh, I want to say Pro Team. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry, but I want to say he's Pro Team. But this stuff worked works like Batman and Robin. Yes, I'm a big Batman and Robin fan, so there might be a couple of them phrases thrown up. This stuff and this stuff should be married in holy matrimony, as far as fighting your clients pain redness and swelling like honest to god guys i'm not saying jump on a bandwagon but i'm saying jump on that bandwagon temporarily and see how you like it now you can order this stuff uh our main manager is i want to say a sale uh she helps this company with sales we we we're normally the holy water booth at the villain art show so um if that tells you guys anything we work really closely with the brand now this stuff it is soothing antiseptic mist contains lidocaine and now holy water i don't think it really has blessed water in it i think it'd be cool if it did because me i'm a christian guy so um but here's active or the active ingredients lidocaine hcl four percent and then you got benzoconium chloride, 50%, uh, point, uh, or 0.2%. Inactive ingredients, emu oil, purified water, propylene glycol, aloe vera, and fragrance. I don't remember this stuff having a smell. So, um, generally how you use this. You cannot spray this on the skin before you started tattooing like you can't lay the stencil let it dry and be like okay it's time to tattoo spray 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 and now it's gonna not gonna hurt no it's, this ain't one of these things you got to use it on open skin like basically the way i use it and good this is a good guideline on how to use it i will run all my outlines and get them done then wipe it off green soap oh then rinse it off with a water wipe real quick and then i'll heavily soak my tattoo down with this with the only the outlines done and when i spray it on i'll take my gloved hand and i'll rub it in really good and then spray it down thick again and i'll take a piece of plastic wrap and wrap it around their arm that way it keeps it locked in there and then i'll go smoke a cigarette for like five ten minutes wait for five or ten minutes and by the time you come back to your to the session you can honestly see a big difference in redness and swelling on how much it has gone down like it, it's some miracle stuff for real like especially any artist that ain't hit to it i highly recommend it and especially when you use it with this it's it's like pain fighting duo man like it's it's great stuff and not only that, the biggest, most important part is your clients appreciate it a lot, especially like the finicky ones that are jumpy or afraid of needles or pain or they just 
sit rough. Now, I've seen some of my roughest clients that are the roughest sitting clients, the ones that like almost turn your client chair into a rodeo bronco type stuff. Like they're just jumping all over the place. I've seen this combo tame them down to where they're okay, cool. And they're holding still all of a sudden and they're not complaining about the pain. They're not sitting there comically cussing you out because they got temporary Tourette's during their tattoo syndrome. Yeah, I think you all know what I'm talking about. I get them a lot. <laughs> They'll tell me, hey, I might cuss you out, but I don't mean it. Well, that'll make them stop. Now I get, I find that's funny when the client tells me that and I always tell them like, hey, I'm gonna take offense to it. I'm just gonna laugh with it. <laughs> like keep it honest with them. So like now, holy water, let me think. Now, you can look them up. Uh, newreligiontattoo.com And you can get yourself a bottle of this. I believe it's around the $35, $40 range. And also, can't eat. You can find and locate these guys, how to order from them. Um, they are currently building a web store, I believe. Like, I, I gotta ask more details on that. Probably should have before I said anything, but um, sorry, Jake. Like, if I jumped the gun, but the uh, way I ordered this stuff is I go to Instagram and I get, I find Canna Inks page. Look at the name, Canna Ink. It's all spelled like one word C A N N A I N K D. And find them on Instagram. Uh, message them. The person that's probably going to be answering your messages is Jake. And just tell them you're interested in some can glide or a tattoo jelly. And they also got a lotion too, which I don't got on hand at the moment. Well, I, he sent me some lotion and I brought it home for me and my old lady's personal tattoos. And not only that, that lotion, if you got back problems like me, I got degenerate disc disease and it's focused in my lower back. On my worst painful days I will take a little bit of that lotion rub it on the problem area on my spine and a few minutes later it's like it helped it for real I'm not even kidding that CBD is potent stuff and it works great and but on their Instagram page just tell them one of these jars I believe is like 20 to 25 bucks plus then you'll have a shipping and handling charge as well but this stuff is way worth it. Like I've tried other brand CBD glides and like other glides and I've never been wowed by just an ointment. I mean, come on, it's an ointment. This one did. If my stare doesn't tell you how serious I am. Serious as a damn heart attack. So, so with that being said, also like, the ways to get a hold of uh, the order of Peak Tritons. I mean, obviously, most of your major tattoo suppliers that sell Peak are carrying them. Like, I ordered mine straight through peakneedles.com, which I normally do. If the Peak Needles don't have those sizes that I need in stock, I always go to Painful Pleasures or, um, yeah, I think Painful Pleasures is the only other one I use for Peaks. As, or wait, no, I want to say I'll use Electrum Supply too, so. Um, and, well, I was trying to see if I had any other products I could review for you guys. Hold on a second, let me, let me see here. Figured I'd do a wham bam, thank you ma'am, on a few of them. I know I haven't been posting recently some videos, so. Um, currently, no. oh, but I do got some cool stuff to update you guys on. Um, I'm working on some, uh, some newer drawings for this winter season. And I just came out with a new sticker series. Now, 
I will say I'm an OCD man from hell. And I like to have stuff matching. So, here's my new business cards. And here's my new stickers. Yeah, I didn't put the red background in the stickers just because these die cut, I don't think it would go well. On the card, cool. And then you got your back. Just to plug you guys in where I'm at. Good old Dustin Duel. Spell my last name, duh, with an L at the end. That helps you remember it. And I am at F2F Beauty and Tattoo in Dayton, Ohio. We're on 2067 Harshman Road. If you guys would like to get a hold of us, maybe schedule an appointment for me, whoever sees this video. 937 496 5366. You get a hold of us, you probably get our lovely receptionist, Sam, on the phone when you call and just just say that you'd like to schedule or schedule a consultation with me or whatever. I see her peeking. There she is. There's Sam. That's who you'd be talking to on the phone. So. So with that, guys. Yeah, and my also my portfolio book is also matching. The perks of being OCD. Gotta have a match. So, with that being said, I hope I informed you guys well enough on these four brands. And if you guys have any further questions about how to get in contact with these brands, like I know Canning is a little bit of a harder one right now, but it won't be for long. Um, just reach out, message me. I'll give you all that info. Any, the way I see it, any unasked question is a dumb question. I never see questions as dumb. So don't be afraid to ask. Like, if you got anxiety, ask it. I got anxiety too. I'll answer it. All weird like maybe, who knows. So, yeah, like I said, don't be afraid to branch out try new stuff because you never know what you're gonna find now with me i found gold in my opinion with can ink the peak tritons and the white rose 14 liners and also holy water so if you guys get a chance please i highly recommend these brands um my recommendation might not mean shit to you guys but that's all i can give so, with that being said, guys, I hope this was informative, and I'll see you in another video. So, until then, happy tattooing, guys.